Welcome. My name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist at Fonts and Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the pieces and blocks for paper pinwheels that you see behind me. For the purchase of this pattern, visit our website. Okay, we're going to be using two and a half inch strips in a variety of the um, newspaper prints, um, those that look like they have um, actual handwriting across them and some real soft and some more graphic dot fabrics like these. So we're going to be taking those strips, two and a half inch strips, and we're going to be cutting them into rectangles. Follow the pattern for the number and quantity of, of these that you need. It's a very scrappy pattern. And then we're going to be adding, you see here, a focus of a turquoise fabric. Um, that could be alternate and you could change it to a red, black, and, uh, black, white, and red would be great. So um, in this turquoise, we're going to be cutting the squares that we can make the pinwheels that appear to float throughout the quilt. Okay, let's get started on creating the simple little unit that looks like this. It's one of the rectangles of the light fabric and um, we're going to then be using the squares of turquoise that we have cut and we're going to be creating a triangle on the outer corner. Now when you first look at this pattern you think, hmm, most quilters start to analyze things as they look at them. Strip sets and flippy corners. Problem is, it won't work that way. And if we look at one of the um, completed quadrants here, it would be a strip set but then how would we get the diagonal seam triangle inside the strip set? So the thought was great, but it won't work that way. What we have to create is the unit that has that triangle on it first, and then go back and put together um, the squares that look like or simulate a strip, a strip set. So what we're going to be using is a straight edge or a ruler. We can use um, the edge of a quarter inch seam marker, but all we're going to be doing is marking one line, corner to corner, across the block, and that is going to become our stitching line. So nice mark, so you can see, corner to corner, a quick taking it over to the sewing machine. Then we can create that triangle that, that will float throughout our quilt. This is a great pattern for um, maybe a retreat when you're going to be repeating the same processes over and over. Sometimes at retreats we need some things that we can sew and not have to concentrate too much on. So we're going to be creating a lot of pieces that have this little triangle floating on the end. Okay, now that we've gotten that seam in there, we're going to um, press open. You would take that to the ironing board. I'll just do it with my fingers here and open it all the way up and then go to the back side and trim away the excess fabric. We only need one layer in that space, not three. So we're going to trim, whoops, trim that away. Got the tip of my scissors there. And we're going to create that part of the unit that goes into our block. Then we're going to be pairing it up with two more prints. The fun part is you can go through all these light prints, the fun newspaper print and the script ones, and create your blocks. Those are just simple joining straight quarter inch seam rows across there to make the units. Now within the um, quilt, you will find that that's one of the units you need to make, but there's actually a second. You're going to be making units like this with the one triangle within it, and you're going to make 44 of those. Then you're going to be making units that have triangles on two pieces, and you're going to make 96 of those. The reason why is that these blocks interlock to create pinwheels in different places. So as I lay this out, you'll see these are similar. This one's similar. You need 96 because that's the entire center of your quilt. The 44, these are the outer edge of your quilt. There aren't as many in, in, um, of the triangle squares in those. Now, then if you join those into rows and join the rows together, you, you get paper pinwheels that you see behind me. And then we finished it off repeating that great turquoise as the binding in the outer edge. For more of our Quilting Quickly tutorials, visit our website. Thanks for joining me today.